first card is you deserve love. So I think this is about questioning our self-worth and honesty. And if there has been a space with someone, what what is it we really want, right? This is where we, you know, that's what the space is for, to really understand how much was that really contributing to our happiness? What does it mean for us? Um, yeah, separation. This is what I'm saying. This is what was being learned in this time apart. Um, and a lot of you may not care for this past. It just, it doesn't make any sense. I do feel like the grass is greener. The grass is greener, but this separation showed the other person, right? Because we're polar opposites here. It showed the other person that the grass is not greener. And so they're going to kind of make their way back in. Um, but again, it's only because they're triggered here. We have romantic feelings. Bottom of the deck is trust and attraction, chemistry, free yourself. So I think this is about trusting your intuition. Um, these romantic feelings to me feels like this is a connection elsewhere. This is someone else you've probably engaged. I think your person is triggered again because you moved. I, I, there was fool's energy that came out. So therefore, you probably moved on. And so you're in, a, in the beginning stages of a relationship with someone else. Um, let's see what this interference is on this energy. Wow. Yeah. Letting go releasing walking away moving on i don't feel like this interference is at an acceptance place but clearly letting go taurus is what needs to happen here um because it's just a repeated pattern deja vu card i feel time weight cycles infinity Oof. i feel like this person's willing to give things time at least in their mind they've convinced themselves that time will heal yep shattered damaged broken hearted destroyed they think time will heal the situation and illusions. Yep. Clouded judgment, unbalanced and skewed. It's elusive. It's not even real. Right. And oh my God, we got this last week. I believe I'm not sure if this was your reading or cancer, but clinging, holding on, obsessing, watching. That's your person. They're just clinging. It's elusive. It's not an apology. There you go. Apology. They want to come back. So and it's an elusive um, energy, right? Because this is, they think they could regain trust here. I don't know how they're going to try to do that, but I think this is where your boundaries need to be placed, right? This is a very narcissistic personality because you could tell when someone gets that elusive, they just don't live in reality, you guys. They don't. And this, had, this separation has taught you a lot about yourself and just who this person was. Um, I think because you deserve love is still showing up means that a part of you may still, and this is not for all of you, but for those of you who still can believe this kind of energy can, can repeat a cycle. Wow. You've got spiritual union here, two of cups. So here you go, Taurus. I think this is a split with a lot of you. And this is the seven of cups. And this is about choosing wisely. So a lot of you will probably repeat this cycle, right? Because Saturn return is here. We have an opportunity to start over and to clear like old energies, but we could also choose, our soul can choose to repeat a cycle. And if you think you could do the cycle better, then you do the cycle better. But that's the goal, right? We have to talk about the goal and what we're doing. Um, this person also knows you've got options, which is why they're triggered, right? Of course. So we've got two of cups, which to me represents the new energy, romantic feelings here, a new chapter here with the world. I also feel like the elusive energy of this person thinking there's another opportunity. We've got emperor energy here. Number four, we've got death energy here, which obviously we need to lead to some change. And then we've got chariot. What's crazy about these energies here? Um, Taurus is, is one, two, three, four, four major arcanas. This is big. And this is what I'm saying. This is definitely um, a karmic cycle. There's, a, there's something big that's needing to transition. And your decision on this is going to be a very, it's going to be detrimental to how the next cycle 
is going to be in your life like all the the problems you're going to experience all the good and the bad and the ugly basically you know and in this case you had a connection with someone who you already know what it was and clearly there's a separation for a purpose but there's a need to question it so give me more of this two of cups here spirit i think this person is very elusive yeah so expect communication here eight of, of wands we've got ten of swords for some of you this is coming to an end um and this is probably something you're gonna have to say it's over i like the fact that communication is still coming in shows the elusive behavior the clinging behavior of someone who isn't willing to accept something is over so the attempts to constantly talk and engage is going to be there so give me more of this eight of wands let's see about this communication what is this eight of wands yeah some of you is a marriage you've got justice and six of pentacles and again it's a trigger because there's a very big chance you're out there putting your energy elsewhere with a new person and they feel this and uh, some of you is if some of you are going through legalities of divorce it's like this person had a wake-up call right they can't let go they're shattered all of a sudden it's like oh my god i don't want to let go of this i don't want to let this go right some of you could be dealing with a water sign cancer scorpio um, Pisces, you have Libra energy here. Um, let me see this justice for it. Give me more of the justice. Knight of Cups. So new love. I think there's a connection that you have more balance. And I think this person knows that um, new love will, is going to be the interference. And again, they may have seen that you are or have into intuitively know that you are out there that you will meet another queen of pentacles taurus this could be you or you can meet someone who's more of your match there's like a a jealous factor because you guys know i don't do reversals and knight of cups is a jealous factor of you moving forward so they will cling on to slowing processes down for you so you don't progress to a new connection right so this doesn't come to an end for them give me more of the world and more in the world and clearly death energy so the slowing down of things coming to an end why five of wands they want to create conflict again guys justice a lot of you are going through and six of oh my god taurus look at this six of pentacles justice and you got six of pentacles justice so a lot of you guys this taurus for a lot of you taurus this is a legal battle yeah death nine of swords this person is going to either try to slow down this process or it's coming to an end pretty quickly for them the point here is they're not even if let's say the legal aspects clear out so obviously something's going to get decided here um this person will still create these five of wands energy conflict you know so give me more of this five of wands it's 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 just about giving you a hard time yeah page of swords <laughs> page of swords and five of swords they just want to mentally mind f you this is a mind f this is someone who they don't give a, a damn they just want to make it difficult right they don't want you to be peaceful nine of pentacles set you free they're being also very selfish in their ways it's also i it's it's about winning because five of swords is about winning so this person is about winning and prolonging something will, will mean winning because if it's not them who gets the opportunity with you then they don't care about you know anybody else give me more of the six of pentacles it's elusive because I think this person really thought that things would have worked out. So you have nine of wands, judgment, yeah, and the star. I feel, and then six of cups in the bottom. So this person thought reconciliation was a possibility and realizing that 
there may be someone else. So the resistance, nine of wands, it's almost like a, a defense. There's a defense mechanism happening here. So again, it's a triggering energy. Wherever you're at, if you are dating, this person still feels extremely um, hopeful, but also very privileged. Because I feel like with the six of cups here, I don't, did I say six of pentacles? I mean, six of cups. It's almost like this person feels that the connection with them will outweigh anything that you've got going on. So give me more of this emperor. Yeah. Eight of pentacles, seven of cups. And this is about choosing wisely here. We just had the seven of cups right here. So there's a lot to contemplate about here, um, Taurus. Sorry, you guys, my battery's almost low. Um, there's a lot to contemplate here. I think you've got a lot to deal with. I also feel this is their energy too, as in some level of controlling. So you both are mirroring something here. I feel like you need to start seeing like their elusive ways. The Seven of Cups is illusions, also very dreamy, very up in the air. And I think the plotting eight of pentacles they're constantly working on a plot um and it's like you need to see it for what it is give me more of the seven of pentacles i mean seven of cups six of swords eight of pentacles and a nine of pentacles yeah you got to see it for what it is and what they're constantly plotting. I mean, I normally I don't get a selfish energy with the nine of pentacles. For some reason, I'm getting a selfish energy with the nine of pentacles. Um, ten of wands because it's burdensome. And this is why I feel like it's a selfish energy. Give me more of this nine of pentacles. And it's also because they don't want you to be sick. They don't want you to end up better than they are is what I'm feeling too. Yeah. Okay. So that's really what it is here. Yep. Three of wands ace of pentacles they don't want you to end up in a better circumstance than they will be and you know where you're going you will end up you've got plans right ten of cups in the bottom right yes your plans are ten of cups and to end the ten of swords start a new life but also end an old life right it's like end this past energy and look at that hierophant and the marriage for some of you this is definitely um, a divorce issue. Give me more of the death card. Why the death card? Yeah, this is causing a lot of conflict. And look at the upheaval, the tower. So this ending is here and it's coming down. And this person is eight of swords. Again, it's elusive. They're, it's almost like they're not trying to see where things are going. But Taurus, I feel like this death also is showing you a lot of things that you didn't expect because Eight of Swords is a self-inflicted energy in our in our own mind. So this person has their thing going on in their mind and you've got your thing going on in your mind. All leading to a tower, right? So give me more of this Eight of Swords. Yeah. Seven of Swords. And I feel, yeah, about this death energy. I I feel like there has to be a realistic understanding of what's happening. Someone's not willing to under to look at it for what it is. You've got death twice here. It's extremely la la land. Okay, so give me more of this tower. Uh, no spirit. It's too many. There we go. Tower, force. You guys, this is three major arcanas. Tower, chariot, wheel of fortune. This tower, this this death, because then you got two deaths twice. This is to bring about a new direction. This is the change that needed to happen because it wasn't going to happen by ignoring it. We got the chariot here too, right? So let's clarify this chariot. 
There we go. Intuition. Intuition and knowledge, information, page of swords. So I feel like needing to know, you need to be ahead of the game. There's a silence behind understanding the game and information that you need to be ahead of with this high priestess, you know? So give me more of this high priestess. You really need to trust your intuition on this. And that's why, you know, there's a trust factor here. Yeah. Be ahead of the game. Five of wands. You're being played in a lot of ways and you need to see the game intuitively the game for what it is. This person also just has a very, it is a manipulative tactic to get what they desire to constantly put this constant communication, lies also, I feel a lot of lies, hear more on this page of swords, to confuse you, yep, through communication, eight of wands. A lot of lies through communication. A lot of texting, a lot of emails, whatever, how, whatever your form of communication is with this person, Taurus, or your person with their person, because obviously you guys know where this is happening, but clearly this is happening to someone. Um, this is going to be based off of what you, how you see things, like seeing things for what they, they are and I really feel this you deserve love I'm gonna pull another deck for that but I I just feel like if this is showing up is that we still are doubting ourselves in some way and you need to understand your self-worth and self-value here in terms of designating where your life is gonna go because allowing this kind of energy really um, creates more and more and more um, of this pattern. So give me more of this. You deserve love. Yeah. Look at this, you guys. The lovers and ace and four of swords. So taking a step back and knowing the lovers, what's your real match? Ace of pentacles, how you want life to be. Really think about this four of swords. Like this separation taught you a different dynamic of what a connection should be like. And you need to trust. It's about trusting Taurus or your person. Again, you guys know who's going through this. It's about trusting what the connection is, what the, the relationship is for you, what it means, where you want it to be. You have an opportunity to, to plant yourself differently and your life on an earthly matter look different than anything of the past, you know, and you've had time to this break. This separation has allowed you to see where the downfalls were in this connection. I think this is where the strength comes in, in understanding that, you know, and what steps you need to take, you know, Knight of Wands to the action needed to create and to stick to what you know you deserve. So I want to see these romantic feelings here. What are these romantic feelings? Yeah, clearly you have someone in the picture here where you're creating something and building something, giving more of these romantic feelings. It was unexpected probably for a lot of you. Yep, judgment faded right? A faded turn of events, queen of wands, someone more inspiring, someone you guys could be dealing with a fire sign. Um, but someone that creates a more inspiration and really has allowed you to see connections differently and make different judgment calls on how to, the steps you need to take in life and how to go about life and how you contribute how to build upon page of pentacles how to build upon a relationship that's more in line to you and i feel this is very protected with the judgment card give me more of the judgment because this is about understanding your self-worth your self-love right yeah six of wands recognition how far you've come and look at that the tower's back again so this was this was unexpected but at the same time it was necessary 
and it was to get, bring in the clarity. It was to take something down to bring in the clarity of what you deserve, right? The space of what you really deserve. Okay. Um, let's see what the blockages are now. Spirit. What are the blockages? What are the blockages in this connection? Yeah. Joy comes from within. Stop seeking outside of yourself. And again, this is understanding what comes within, what you deserve. This person probably needed a lot of validation and really brought in insecurities in you. And so you thought that it needed to be what you had within had to be seek outside. So they, this, this could be a very narcissistic personality where they kind of drain you right and then moving on don't look back you're not going that way nope it being a blockage is that we're still holding on a little bit and looking back is still something we're doing and so spirit is basically basically forcing like this is a blockage moving on is is what needs to happen don't look back you're not going that way so understanding that you're not going that way is something you you know that needs to be accepted um despite of what this person thinks that they need from you um clearly they want to come back because again that's what karm karmics karmics do you know they'll try to confuse you and that could be part of it too so let's see what the toxic traits of this person is let's see the toxic traits of this interference so this serves more like a warning of these toxic traits for some of you more of the toxic traits of this person. Ooh, wow. Cheating. The profession the professional engaging with a prostitute or a stripper or some form of professional arrangement. Hmm. Some of you went through this. They were liars and sneaky be behavior. They are engaging in some risky behavior. Be sure to protect yourself to be safe. Wow. Guys. A lot of you, this really shows me narcissistic and this is why spirit is saying, don't look back. This person had you in a fog. These are more toxic. So I feel like a lot of you, like there, there are one or two of you, whoever's really dealing with a very um, elusive person. Again, this person is skewed. They're not really all up there. And here we have intuition. Is your intuition... Is it your intuition or are you overthinking a situation? Question mark. So again, you've got a, a lot of you have to really focus on this self-worth here um, because I do feel some of you will give this another go and kind of turn a blind side eye towards some of these toxic um, and I feel like spirit is pointing these things out specifically for those of you who are thinking about it. Others of you are like, I'm done, I'm gone, I'm over it. And it does show here that there is an ending here. There's definitely a spirit force ending. So let's see what your guidance is. Yeah, temptation. And I, this message is definitely strong for those who um, are tempted, right? Watch out for addictive behaviors, toxic people, and situations that don't serve you. Be cautious not to get trapped in negative cycles, break free. And I feel like this is <clears throat> this is this is for all of you because this has a lot more to do with getting stuck in, in a toxic situation, right? Where we get trapped in the same patterns, where we're still believing the noise these people are saying to us, which keeps us in this cycle of it's a mental trap and this is where the you deserve love there's this is why i know there is still a struggle with that because when we still struggle with knowing what we deserve therefore the healthy boundaries are not in place to be able to break free yet and um that's an emphasis for me here on this reading for sure so let's see what other guidance for you taurus is a lot but i guess you need it growth um i've the flowers i i have planted are growing every corner and envelope me so this is definitely a lot of growth that's taken place i think you need to pat yourself on the back for the growth that has taken a place 
during this time and really see it for what it is and then continue to plant on that summer a period of vitality and fruition yeah this time a lot of you probably have regenerated yourself and and are seeing things differently so a lot of you who are done and not looking back this this vitality use this energy that's being fed to you for the growth and the fruition of the life you truly want and shattered wow we've got shattered two times here you know, and maybe uh, I'm going to read it here. The things that shatter you and break your heart can open your eyes. That's exactly what it is. And I feel this is why this energy has mirroring energy because both of the parties here are going through different kind of brokenness. And some of you are opening your eyes and some, and then the polar opposite is clinging on, right? They're the ones clinging on because they don't want to open their eyes they want to make sure they keep you trapped right the temptations here they don't want you to break free from from this clinging cycle they, that they've been very happy in keeping you in it's like you've gotten out of the trap and they don't know how to pull you back in um and that's why whatever it is the things that shatter you and break your heart can open your eyes and we need to focus on the on how our eyes are open now and see things for what they are not excuse them not find any reason trying to reason with it it's done it's a cycle it's a trap there's no reasoning with a trap so um taurus this is your reading tough energy as always taurus um, but I love you. Please like, share, subscribe.